Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Random Lockdown. I'm doing a revamp on the channel, so I might edit some videos, put some new ones up, take some new down, gonna get some new things on my channel. But for now, let's play some Lockdown, which is something I don't get to do very much anymore. I've, uh, I'm busy myself with other things in, you know, the, the non, non, non-tangible life. Which is pretty fun. Uh, once I got this, uh, I got a spirit of like rejuvenation. Um, I, I do spend a, a bit, a good bit amount of my morning with uh, you know some quiet time and reading and all that. And I got some, I got a certain inspiration like to the point where I really had to write it down. It's a lot to do with my worldview. I'm not going to go into that right now, but it, uh, it it definitely was inspiring and it's leading me to you know be a little bit more proactive in every venue of life, not just <laughs> all guardians, not just this one. Um, Excuse me, not just my other ones, my other vocations, which I have a lot of fun doing, but like in every one. Here we go, here we go. This is what we want to see, because hopefully what I'm doing is, uh, you know, three of them are here, and they're all just sitting there shooting at me, so they're inactive. Not inactive, sorry. Well, I'm dead now. <laughs> but the rest of my team, hopefully, like there should be one guy, no guys fought, being fought down there. Um... So there were three here. One went to heal. Looks like another one went over there. You can kind of guess, have a little bit of guesswork when you uh, when you watch the map. So one thing I'm I'm trying to uh, to do is have a bit of the cynicism that is uh, racked my brain, especially when playing with this game. And you know, there's a, there's a longish story when it comes to that. Uh, probably try to remove a little bit of that from my vocabulary. Not the whole thing, because it does come back once in a while. You know, we all have this up. Okay, let's. Uh, there we go. This is one of those. This game itself is very interesting um, because I'm like a the best word at, pff, I have no idea to hit this guy when when gunning like everything has to be led nothing is like a, a streamline as far as like shooting stuff goes like that nothing is a nothing is a, is like on point so I, like my a core example of this is like I play a game oh, we're just getting destroyed I play a game called uh, Brawlhalla let's do something like this and be invisible uh, what, what is that no, we need to do something like like this. Brawlhalla, which my so I have a DSL connection, and my DSL connection is just it's not very good. And the, in this game, it is all about the ping. It's like it's not even all about the ping. It's all about ping slash computer slash a whole bunch of issues. I hope I stop the guy stashing up for everyone to come up here and help me out. So there whole there's like. Four or five elite people in this game who just are basically untouchable. On their screen, they look like they're the most the their wit and skill is amazing. But you set, the second you uh, I meant to shoot once. Come on, get on there. The second you like watch it from their vantage point, there's nothing that makes them special. Which you know it kind of reveals a little bit of a bias when it comes to. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with this. I knew it. Oh, meow meow. Okay, well let's uh, let's give this a minute. Okay, there we go. I'm dead. <laughs> Sword of Omen is one of those people, and this is that's probably him right there. Where uh, his his computer, I think, is better than mine. So you get the more more frames per second. Uh, I know in this game specifically, which is one of the downfalls, is you actually, if you want to upgrade your frame rates, I think you have to download a better version of Java, which does not come with this. Which is kind of to me, it's kind of weird. Why 64 Java is not included in this in this uh, program, but the um, I think this game is a little bit beyond the um, not salvation. What's the what's the word I'm looking for? Not even ingenuity. And it, it it seems like the due to the lack of everything, it seems like the uh, they really do just is this it? Is this all we are now? I just can't. I can't. <laughs> Are we? In, is all we are is just another brick in the wall. I mean, it, it's a legitimate whatever he was doing. It's legitimate. You just stand back there and shooting at me, but uh, obviously there's sort of a. I'm sort of omen. It's cynicism just creeps out, man. Oh, it's, I do know what's wrong with me. We all have this uh, this urging inside where you know, it's it's a difference between a mistake and a sin. And you can take it for what it's worth. A mistake is something that is an accident. A sin. I was watching starting points the other day, which is pretty neat. A sin is a mistake you consciously do, you know is not good for you. You can take that however you want. But you do it over and over again, even though you know 
exactly what it does. Even though you know that the, the outcome is going to be either the same or different, depending. I just wanted that to... Sometimes I will actually purposely go twice. Like, swing twice, just so the momentum carries me. I'm hoping the, uh... Come on. Let's just retreat a bit. And then when he starts coming, we'll shoot this down here. I was really hoping that worked. Nope. Hey, my, my shot went off. That was, uh, that was cool. But some, sometimes the, uh, the, like, I can't even... Oh, that was the wrong weapon. I don't even have the appropriate frame rates to, to deal with this kind of thing. My, my computer is a toaster. Um... But Java 64 certainly would help. So I, I uninstalled, reinstalled the game, doing some computer makeup, and uh, the end result was I didn't really feel like downloading uh, the new version of Java. So, kabam. Take that. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Hey. Boop. <laughs> like, he just, like, got teleported behind me. By the time one shot went out, and that's okay. There are things in this game which you know you just you just kind of roll with. And the power players, the uh, since the matchup in this game is so like unbalanced because it, it looks like it has great potential. It just never was. They never had a follow through with it. It seems like it, it kind of stopped halfway when the initial developer Nick. Um, I don't know why I'm going up here. But it, it seems like he, uh, once he left, it's, it's, it, it became a purely cosmetic game where you can just buy things to make you look good. And it, the core gameplay itself is awesome. And this is, again, more like a, a review than is, uh, you know in-depth um, knowledge for you guys that, that watch this channel. So, well, case in point right here, 20k damage. Not even going on the whole uh, auto-target tangent, um, but just in general, PC speed, and then ping speed, and then the AT might come into play, but the, the primary two, just because of the way the game is built, it really, it really just is what it is. So, you got to uh, compensate for that. You recognize the good players when you, uh, when you start a game, you, you assess the situation. Some games are just no wins, and you do your best, and you, you play through your with your core value system. So what map are we at? We're at the Fortress. Fortress is a three-point map. One of the newer ones. They, uh, we have both the Zeros on our team. I don't know, hard bio. It's going to be a hard fight, mostly strikers. I'm thinking I should go guard. That's my best chance of, of helping my teammates out. And probably the Magma Driver, because I... I sometimes get lucky with this. So if I go guard, I can at least soak a few hits. And the high damage here, by the way, I, ideally, if in a perfect world, I like that my Shadow Sun back. Because Shadow Sun, it's the, like the gunner armor. Um, it, it, it does make me feel, uh, you know, a little bit more nostalgic. He has the armor on, but you never see the hat in lockdown. It's a little bit more distinct. I got chaos just because when I came back to the game for the second or third time or something, um, the easiest set to get, the most generic set that helps everything, is this. And when you go in the Clockworks, um, Chaos tends to, uh, you know, it burns a bit. All the statuses hit it, like, way harder. And you can tell the fighting's going on in the middle there. But the, uh, the vantage point is you can just deal the most damage, and as long as you kill things fairly quickly, you're good to go. So we. Ooh. Sometimes I can get lucky with a swing. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go over to point three. <laughs> so in this in this map, the uh, the advantage is we go watch for south things in the south here. The advantage is you like I'll go over to this point three. They can go north, but they can't go back south, which is it's very uh it's very interesting in this part because you can. Like my Alchemer, one of the reasons I like this so much is because my ping is not the best, my computer's not the best. But it gives me, like, a double slash triple chance to hit the enemy. Okay, if there's a lot of them. And if there's, that's the thing, if there's a lot of them, which is something I learned early in the game, when gun damage was like, I don't know, not even not even a fourth. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for, maybe like a third of what it is now. Here's my sword, dead. Not a third. I'd say it was about 70 or 80% of what it is now. And the only gun damage bonus you got was two lows from either Shadow Sun or Chaos. And that was it. 
you had like no bonus. So what I what I found I could do because I wanted to make a uh, more of a distinction. Everyone else was playing swordsman with uh, anti sword armor, so it would just be a long battle. And the people that are more veteran in here have most of their skill set in swording. Which is pretty cool. Mine is gunning, because that's just what I started to do. I, I was at a deficit. I figured, well, if I'm going to do something, I might as well see if I can make my mark in this game somehow. So that was what I did. Boop. So case in point, what I try to do is lead them around and make them have a more predictable path. And I don't have a quick hit. Um... So I tried to I just tried to predict them as much as possible. So we took out one there, I think, and then we hurt another, and and took two of their players, took the time for two of their players. Uh, so most of the actions going around here, I'll I'll expect sort of a moment to be down there, um, and I'm gonna just keep trying to go to point three because I don't think you know what since we're all spawning together, I'm gonna try to go with them and push through the center. So hopefully, so we lost one, but I got two here, and hopefully I can make it to them and guard them for like a hit or two or three. Then we can take this middle point. Okay, there we go, and then. The thing about... Oh, come on back here. Oh, yeah, they're taking point one. That's a good point. So one thing that um got to be careful for is uh, the, the southern camera angle advantage attack. Like, a, in a, especially stages like Avenue, you got to watch out for... Oh, uh, that was a bad time to release that. got to watch out. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. So we're going to try to... Probably go south where the traps are. Maybe they might go on top of that. I might get lucky. I might not. This is one of those people that fights to the end, which is pretty cool. They don't know. They get hurt. Okay, I'm just getting pounded here. We need to we need to go. Well, at least I got a hit off. <laughs> just got splattered across the map though. Oh, they're down a teammate. Okay. So we should go to point three. Yeah, um this th this point in my if you want to call it a uh, Spiral on his career. My striker, my need for being a striker is just, just about nil. Um, since my, I, I can lead people around. That's actually what I started as a striker gunner, so I could just sit there and dodge people all day. So let's play defensively, because we have really no choice. I mean, <laughs> Lazy Pen, he's a veteran. I've, I've played him plenty of times before. Okay, but luckily, this guy has no idea sort of what he's doing. He does! So I just gotta watch out for the random hits, because he's not gonna be able to be doing a lot of things um, as far as, like, tricking me. You can see it's more of a approach, it's more of a direct line. Oh, jeez. And, uh, really, I just gotta avoid this guy's sword. Okay, don't, don't. All right, here we are. So if I shock him, it's like an auto kill. See, but I just got to make sure the freeze procs. But if the freeze doesn't proc, it's you know it's obviously a deficit. So we're, what we're doing right now is we're we're causing them to spend more time right out of their spawn. They go around and heal. Um, unfortunately, we're not really getting sort of open, which is really what I wanted to do. So what they're going to do now, if you can look at the map construct, unfortunately they're being hurt right outside of base. Whoa. You want them to go to point three. A couple of them stop at point three, take their time while we get points one and two, and then we will meet them hopefully at like point two or point three. So I'm going to guess one of them came up here. I was right. Oh, jeez. I want one of these to hit. Doesn't matter what I want. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. No! No. <laughs> that was mine. I don't have time. I don't have time to charge. I don't have time to charge. Help. <laughs> this is a hard fight, man. Uh, Lazy Pez and Sword of Omen being on the same team. Um, pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough. We're going to point one there. I mean, Sword's just going to push through the middle. He gets a... Uh, I won't say he gets his rocks off, but he definitely... His, his his advantage is just straight up brutality. And a lot of people are like that. No! Why would you do that? We're about to get this point. That's good. Hard bio. I like the hat, man. That's a, that's the, uh, the hat I was talking about. 
So we'll do this, and we'll go like this, and we'll just go down here, and we'll off him. Nope. I guessed you. Ah, oh, I didn't think he would swing. He did, though. He just wants to hit me with that attack so bad, I can tell. Oh, man, not again. So we at least took some of their capping points. <laughs> but Lazy Pez definitely didn't win that one. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we gotta get point one. Come on. I'm sorry, man. The freeze proc slash um, volt edge charge is just too... It's too fun. It's too fun. So we gotta get a point anything. I'll go down here. I don't care. Let's go. Let's, let's do this one. See, I have to aim like a tile or two ahead where my shot actually is. And how he, his shot just like he was facing one direction and snapped 15 degrees. They did some studies on this. Auto target adds 15 degrees to your range. So like, you see how he's just snapping back down and down and down. That's him actually missing, but because he has auto target on, it, it literally auto locks onto him. So they definitely won. Well, let's play one more again. Um, I um, if you're new to this, where is it? I I, I play with this off because um, I don't know. Something about, uh, it was initially my conversation with Feller, if anybody remembers them, him. Um, and this is, again, a general overview of, like, tons of videos where I just kind of put all this out there. Of, like, Feller, when I had used AT, it's called the Antigua Lines, which have the, the fastest gunshots and, the, the like, the slowest cooldowns. Um, he's like, dude, I have one bar. You have no idea what you do to me when you use your AT guns. I, like, snap back. I can't move. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, that sounds like not cool. I don't, I don't really like that. Then it, like, then I noticed it being done to me, and I'm like, well, I really don't like how that feels. <laughs> but it's a, it, it was a small comparison. My connection's obviously in the U.S. a little bit better than his. Um, I don't even think it has a connection now. But just because of, like, the, what, the 1-4 or 1% of the players do play this game competitively in lockdown... Um, just because that happened to me, I'm just, I just basically swore it all off. And unfortunately, I started to get a little cynical, a little bit, um, have a little bit of animosity toward people that do it. But, yeah, at the end of the day, if you don't like it, you go play something else. That would be nice. Would be nice. Oh, so good. Let me coffee up real quick. drinking coffee through my nose. I try to get three matches done per episode usually, and this is, um, we did. I love you guys. So we got Whims Whimsicality is a strong, strong recon. Ramparts. My heart says no, but my brain says yes. We need recon. We need... I need to really revamp my loadouts here. I know it seems simple, and I only have... Why not? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It seems simple. I only have two weapon slots. Maybe I'll buy another one someday. The the whole I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. The whole thing with uh, energy and grinding in this game is uh, unfortunately they the so this game is not necessarily pay to win. You can do everything in this game outside of spending money. So literally, you can get like all the benefits everything and you don't even you don't have to spend any money whatsoever the thing it's 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 a pay to accelerate you can and that's actually I'm, I'm okay with that because when I when I sit there and I am I'm, I'm talking to myself which is kind of what I'm doing now I, I ask myself to would I rather play pay for 10 plus hours I can't even tell my shots are going the right way oh I forgot I had the magma driver I'm like what am I doing would I rather pay for 10 plus hours, or the alternative, 
spend an hour working overtime and buy like a month's worth of energy. And from a working person's perspective, that is uh, really what you got to go by. Uh, how much time is this worth to me? And I'm not saying like, I, so it is all about the journey, right? You want to make sure you have a fun time doing what you do. Um, but doing what I do is, is I'm like, I'd, I'd rather play lockdown, honestly. So I'd rather just um, spend what I need to spend on LD to get my trinkets or whatnot. It's going to hurt. We'll just backtrack with this. So I'd rather just spend what I need to spend and and play for an hour so I could play like an extra, I don't know, 200 hours in lockdown. And those of you who have played the markets and have actually... Okay, okay, you need to go. You need to, I got no health. I got no health. What are you doing? You, you play the market... Oh, I'm dead. Play the markets and, uh, you know, you actually got because of market value and sharing and sales and all that stuff that you're good at, which I am I'm not very much. Uh, you actually made it to the point where... You didn't even have to do that, and, you, and you're very smart, and you're a smarter man than I, and that's fine. I, I am. Um, we're just getting destroyed. Oh, we lost a person too. <laughs> boom. Click, click, boom. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll go out. I mean, this is kind of boring. I don't. Nope, I'm going this way. Okay. Hey. 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 Ah! Oh, there it was. He's like running by me, turns around, hits me. So I'm going to try to sync these up with uh, more the the no AT weekend. It, it, it puts a lot of the bitterness out of my soul when it comes to playing this game. Because that, that stuff where they just like, hey, I feel like hitting you. It, I could do that too, I guess. It, it's just not me. It's, it's, it's not my thing. I mean, I'm, let's, let's do this card together thing. We, we got this, man. Uh, what I should do is go over there. Okay, let's get out of there. Sometimes you feel like an hurt. Sometimes you don't. I made it. Hey, where'd my sword shot go? Oh, there's my gun. I'm dead. I'm not dead, but it did hurt. And dead in this game, luckily, is sort of relative. I'm gonna stay on this point. Can't do it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, oh, so we got two basically sitting in here. I don't know, man. Here we go. So this led out is just literally that gun. Let's go out there and have some fun. So since we have one person who left and one person sitting there, four on one is not my idea of a good time. Having a good time, having a good time. Oh, all right. And when you have like three or four of those kind of swords that, that just swing at an arc and hit you, it gets a little ridiculous. Like this is uh, this is basically an unwinning, unwinnable circumstance, and that's fine because we can always play another game. There's always another game, and what you could do is just sit out here and do this. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> What's going on, man? I can't. I need a sword. <laughs> I really do. Let's, uh... Oh, jeez, that was wrong. I need a... There we are. How do you change gear? He's not on our side! That's, uh, okay, they have, they have a sort of a... Let's get that off the screen, though. Help! 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 <laughs> meow meow! Forecast 4K damage. One three three seven. 
Isn't that that's like a two thousand reference delete thing? Is it? Do memes die? Do they? I mean, they 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 are made at such a rapid pace. We're gonna play one more, but the memes are made at such a rapid pace. It's it's like, do they really die? Is it ever too soon? Is it ever too late? Time will only tell. I did read The God Delusion, by the way. So I have the whole introspect as far as the Richard Jawkins version of the mean and how uh, philosophically and um, sociologically um, unfounded it is. Uh, Richard Dawkins is a very smart dude. And I'm not going to take that away from him at all. Unfortunately, like many people who get in prestigious positions, because he has a doctorate or in prestigious uh, experience in the, I guess, in the effect of like zoology, biology, uh, in in depth student of evolution, saying that the origin of species is basically his bible. He took, takes that hat and puts, and and then changes the name biology to philosophy and then theology. And so he reads one one book on like theology, or one book on philosophy, and, and then decides, since he has the authority of a well-renowned, respected biologist, he takes that authority and also like tries to transpose that. Maybe not tries to, but he just you know you take the influence that you have in that kind of market, and then you try to push your other influence on also. And um, it is. It is what it is, but the the meme thing it's a uh, it's it's really neat. If you didn't know, you should look up the Richard Dawkins meme thing because he did have a little cat. You woke up from your third nap of the day and decided to join me on my lap. Let's go. I believe this next game is a little bit more <laughs> balanced. My my computer's destroyed. I can only like there's the uh, the memory leaks in Java is just obvious. I guess that's why most games now are just made by Unity. Maybe that's one of the reasons why they can't find anybody to update this game because they're like, yeah, you got to learn no Java, the ins and outs of it. Um, and on top of that, you have to be able to uh, work for like ten dollars an hour. So this is like this is way more balanced. They got Wim. Wim's like a wild card. I think he does very good. They got Lazy. Lazy is a smart player. We have. Chaotic, who's smart. Sword, who just plays the law of numbers. And I don't know what I deem myself. I'm just kind of a, I'm just kind of here. We're at the fortress. I do like this stage. I do like it. So let's go with some freezing elements. Hail driver. Grand Faust. Uh, uh, hail. Flourish. Let's do that. We've been burning people too much. Too much burn. Now let's go in the middle. We pushed through the the outskirts of this last time. Let's go to the middle this time. There we go. Sword has decided to go guard, which is amazing. He has the high damage weapons. I freeze. You charge kill. Let's do it, man. I can't. My shot went through him. A cat. I, I remember a cat, but I don't remember him uh, being guard. I mean, not guard. <laughs> Recon. Wim is going. <laughs> Striker, which is weird. And he's going Fangabog, which I like. I can't tell you. I'm not a fan of that because I am. Let's just be a shield, because we're so low on hit points, we can't do anything. Alright, guys. I'm dead. I soaked, like, two big hits from him, but that's that's about it. We almost took that point. It'd be nice if I could pass this off to somebody. There's so many mechanics in this game. I would really just like to see implemented, but I mean, it's just not meant to be. I, I think the game, it, from a update perspective, is uh, at a standstill. As far as like, I don't know, balancing issues or anything that might be pertinent to the players, because we just have little to no uh, feedback on. The, um, this will hurt. I mean, this will hurt. Help. We have little no feedback on the forums, and that's like almost a sure sign. I just, yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm burning. Help me. Help me. Help. No. I'm dead. 
The blasters shoot tiny swords, man. And again, you can look at the previous updates in this game. The you know, instead of bouncing, taking things up and putting things down, and you know, putting in the kind of perspective, watching the game players play. Uh, I guess the the game was not that lucrative to um, you know demand that kind of time. So what they what, what what did you see? Gun damage go higher than you saw. What did you see? Black cat. Oh, I guess I'm stuck down there. Black cat gear. High everything forever. I think I'm not doing this, I'm doing it. Watcha! Help. A moment of silence for the for the poor bog myself. <laughs> Oops, that was not a gun. That's a gun that swung like a flourish. <laughs> Flippin' monkey. Monkeys can flip. I saw, I think, my first real-life monkey the other day. We was uh, we was we was at the aquariums. I was at, I took my daughter to the aquarium yesterday. Really cool. Sorry, Wim. Nice dodge. What this cat with this? Another uh, sorry. I just uh, I started a couple lines of thought, and then I stopped a bunch of them. The uh, one of the things I was going to say is you can notice the. Uh, the difference in the snapback between players here, it's pretty cool. I like watching it personally, because as a gunner who just mainly fires alchemers blindly, well, at least that's what it looks like I'm doing. For gunners, like for, for the alchemer, you have to you have to learn the player. Um, you can't just be like, oh, I automatically shoot here if he's traveling in this kind of direction, therefore it will hit him. It doesn't work with everybody like that. <clears throat> Try playing some people with from uh, from EU, and I like I really like the the whole uh, learning players thing. And speaking of Invisa Charge, if you didn't know, you can do this. And to them, it looks like you're just walking around. So we're just gonna walk around for a bit, and then if they run up to you and try to hit you in the head, well, you know, they just get eat a charge in the face. Ba bam, like that. So we're gonna watch and hopefully. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we're not gonna do anything. Do -do 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 -do. We want to give him a death mark, so at least our. Oh, 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 that was that was bad. Hey, that one hit him. <laughs> like guns. Guns are safer. I'm just gonna do three swings. That was nice. I, I was gonna do three swings because, like, what that does is also makes you a little bit. I won't, I'm not gonna say unhittable. It doesn't increase anytime you're moving and not standing still. It increases your ability to dodge an opponent, and I, I guess it could sort of makes sense, right? So sometimes I will triple swing just to do that. Just like there are times when you would triple charge. I'm sorry, sorry, double shoot with an alchemer because, like, I don't know, you're. The opponent shocked, or you're shocked, and you just want to get as many hits out as possible. And yeah, there's always exceptions to the rules. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed these couple of matches. Uh, click the like button. Let me know what you thought. And let me know. If, um, I don't know. Let me know how you guys are doing. I do miss this game. It's pretty fun to come back once in a while and just you know throw swords around, and swing at um, latency targets, and all that. I'll see you guys next time.